Oh, welcome back, everybody, uh, to Christian's Perspective. And I'm glad to be taking a story where we find it in the media that's making its rounds and making a lot of noise, especially over on social media, and go ahead and weigh in on it. And that's what we're doing here today. There's a whole thing happening with the Dodgers. I talked to a little bit about the Dodgers, and I think it was the Rays and the Tigers uh, last summer. And it feels like we're well, a, year, a year back here as we head into – the pride celebration, of course, the Dodgers wants to elevate um, an absolute uh, smack face in the Christian uh, faith, right in their face, just mock God as best they can. And by doing so, there was a pushback from the Christian community. Dodgers decided to go ahead and say, hey, we're not going to uh, elevate these people and give these people an award. And then after pressure from the Rainbow Coalition, They've buckled, and now it's back on. So who are these people? Well, we're going to tell you here in just a minute. Um, But I appreciate you guys joining me in this new, let's be frank, um, view of how we're going to cover things here on the channel and finding stuff. So I do appreciate all those who have stuck with me uh, doing this and just wanted to let you guys know the memberships are now open on this channel. If you want to become a member of this channel, help continue to support this type of content. Uh, that is, I think, sorely needed on the platform, you can become a member of the channel. So check out the membership uh, section there as well. So let's kind of take a look at what we have here. And this is coming down from Twitter. One of my favorite followers, uh, one of my favorite people to follow over here on Twitter is Page Master. And he says this, this is who the Dodgers uh, kowtow to. Do you know why? They believe the uh, Rainbow Coalition is the future and biblical Christianity is the past. No other explanation. Uh, So what we have here is this is who they're honoring at their baseball game in the midst of pride, right? And we know pride is celebration of self, celebration and celebration of rebellion against God. It's basically what it is. The Dodgers understand who they're reinviting, but so does everyone else. Uh, But so everyone, so everyone does. This is an anti-Catholic hate group host a, Hunky Jesus contest at Easter. Contestants give a sexual performances as Jesus and drag. Past winners include twerking Jesus. Sorry to post, but rank bigotry deserves to be exposed. And here's what we have here. This is this is disgusting. And this is what they do. They mock God. And mock and God will not be mocked. God will not be mocked. We see this, of course. So we're going to look at Galatians chapter six, uh, verse number seven. It states this here. It says, uh, do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever a man sows that he will also reap. These people will reap consequence. This is what we have here. We have the world obviously mocking mocking Christ, mocking God um, in the face of Christians. And Christians all all over Major League Baseball. And I don't know how many players are Christians on that team. If I was a player on that team, I would be walking out and not in any type of support. And if I was a fan of the Dodger baseball team, I would definitely not be attending any more of their games. This is a slap in the face to God and to his faithful. Anyway, this is what we have going on in the world today. We have uh, things like this where they will will, um, elevate the debauchery, such as uh, drag, which is mocking Jesus Christ here, and their all of their um, performances, and they're giving them an award, award for the community. It's absolutely um, sick to see this take place. Anyway, that's all I have for you today on on the Christian perspective. I Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed today's uh, episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you a Dodger fan? Are you still watching Major League Baseball? Or for that matter, any Major League sports? Let me know in the comments down below. And I, once again, do appreciate you. Thank you so much for the constant, ongoing encouragement of the new direction of this channel. I appreciate it greatly. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful and blessed day.